Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Weekend Recap, where I showcase the things I picked up over the last couple days. Flea markets, card shops, we have some online pickups, a piece of mail, and also a piece of equipment that I've wanted since I was a little kid, along with some pretty rare error cards that I almost got scammed on eBay. I'm going to show you that all tonight on the Weekend Recap. Stick around. <laughs> Tonight's first feature is one I'm pretty excited about. It's a retro piece of equipment that you may recognize. It's one that I've wanted to own since I was a little kid that I always thought was so cool. I remember seeing these on the inside of the front doors of certain department stores like Toys R Us and Kmart and Gabe's. I always had to stop and put a quarter in and see if I could pull out anything good. But you would get one card per quarter. And then you, they would usually advertise like Griffey Jr. rookie cards and stuff like that on the front. But not today. We are advertising some omens and also some pretty incredible and epic cards like the Dennis Cook 93 per deck in my vending machine. So I purchased this off of the former owner of the Honey Hole. He sent me an email on New Year's Eve. And we had talked about it before a while back. And he had found the keys for it apparently. He lost them a long time ago. But he came across those. So I went and picked this up, met him. He also gave me a pack dispenser that's pretty awesome. I have a lot of loose packs laying around. So he owned a card shop, him and his dad, in the 1990s. Um, it was left over from their shop, so I took that as well. It's pretty huge, too big to show on camera, at least in this uh, messy toy room. But anyways, you put a quarter into this machine. Insert a quarter there. You turn the knob, and you pull the crank here, and a piece of cardboard would come out. And you would see how your luck was. And our luck is pretty good today. We've got the Paul Gibson 89 score error card with the crotch grab in the background. But very, very cool. I can't believe I actually own one of these. I know Eric and I have talked about it before how cool it would be to have one of these. But I figure we'll incorporate it somehow where we do giveaways or what have you. Pretty awesome thing to own. And then next up, I almost got scammed on eBay. I'm going to tell you and show you how here. So, a pretty iconic and rare error card that I've wanted since I was a little kid. Came across on eBay, finally pulled the trigger, uh, threw best offer in. They had it listed at 51 bucks. Well, I offered him 45 He took it. So, I was pretty excited about that, And but I was still a little skeptical because there are reprints of this iconic card floating around. Now, I pulled it out of the top loader, and instantly I could tell that it is a counterfeit. It's fraudulent. Now, the eBay seller has this listed as uh, an original and authentic card. So I'm like, okay, well, if I get it, it's not authentic, then obviously eBay will side with me and I can get a refund. Well, it is so phony. It is not even funny. So very first glance, the coloring, the contrast is off um, right away. You can tell that immediately when you place it directly next to the actual uh, authentic Dale Murphy. This is the corrected version, obviously. Uh, the reverse negative. The bat's on his other shoulder. I'm sure most of you guys recognize this car, but you can see right away. Um, the jersey there is blue, purple on the reprint. But the dead giveaway, besides the flimsy, very flimsy cardstock, um, not glossy either, but the hologram on the back, it just a, literally is a sticker. Now, Upper Deck always has the text inside of the hologram as you can see on the corrected version there. So you see that? So you gotta be careful when you're buying these error cards online because in the pictures, it's very, very hard to tell because if they take a picture where it's like that, you know, you can be deceived, kind of like I was. So I paid like 48 bucks for this card. And luckily I re he refunded me today because I was going back and forth with him in the messages. He's like, I bought that car off a site similar to eBay a while ago. I'm like, well, you, you know, it's not a real card, and here's why. Here's comparisons, everything else. And he started ignoring me. I sent him, like, three messages in a row, and then finally he just refunded me my money. So but what's funny about that is that um, I actually did buy a reprint lot off of eBay recently. I bought the Littlefield reprint as a placeholder until I can track that card down. But that the Littlefield also came with a uh, Dale Murphy... Um, reprint card. So here is a legit reprint that was advertised as a reprint and you can see it's the exact same card. Now the difference here in the photo it looks very realistic. I'm like wow um, 
that is a good looking reprint, but what you can't see the photo is the motion. There is no motion to this hologram. It's not a sticker, it's literally just a picture, or as this one is an actual hologram sticker with no upper deck text. So be careful out there. It's always best to buy these graded, I feel like, unless you uh, trust the seller, but good thing I had uh, one to compare it side by side with. But overall, moral of the story is be careful buying reprints, vintage cards, stuff like that. There's a lot of fakes out there, unfortunately. Moving right along to another card. It's not a reprint, but another rare card we have here. One I've wanted for a while, and I could not skip on this one. Now we have the Pascal Perez 82 Tops. This is one I've talked about before. It's literally um, completely subdued in scotch tape. Uh, pretty ridiculous. But uh, the air on this one, obviously, this is, a pretty air, this is a pretty rare card. The no position on the front. I think the only one I saw on eBay before this was like 150 bucks for this card. It doesn't pop up very often. I think I have seen one listed since for 75 but this was $40 shipped. It was a buy it now the corrected version and for the air i'm trying to cross some of these more prominent errors off of my list and eventually do a video about my error card collection but uh pretty cool one there the no position on front pascal perez very very neat gotta be careful with that one too because there's people on ebay that will list this card as an error because of a text smudge in the printing so i saw that a couple times in my searches for this card but nice one to cross off the list and today, Eric and I went out to Triple Play Vintage, and I didn't find a whole lot of stuff. There wasn't a whole lot of rookie cards there I needed, but I did cross a couple more off of my list, and I was surprised I didn't have this one. I've never even seen this card before. It's a 2011 Bowman Chris Sale, and as you guys probably know, I'm trying to mainly just go after and collect uh, the Bowman rookie cards and also the Topps base of the flagship rookies for the most part. So I didn't have the sale Bowman rookie, and now I do. Added that to my collection. A little bit of a white corner to the top left, but that's okay. Two bucks I couldn't pass on it, plus I'd like to give them my business. And this was a pretty cool one to cross on my list, too. I'm trying to get some of these vintage under my belt. But 1958 tops, Orlando Cepeda. And this was in a showcase for 60% off. And um, so 40 bucks for this. And it's one that I've wanted to add to my collection for a little while. And um, I definitely trust the authenticity of this card. And it's not too bad looking. So uh, add that one to my rookie collection of 58 tops for 40 bucks. That's about what the going rate for them are. If you look at um, active listings and whatnot. And the last thing we're going to look at today is a box of mail sent in by none other than Dirk Remington. I'm sure... A lot of you guys may be familiar with him. We're opening his box tonight. I got it in the mail a couple days ago, and he had asked that I open it on camera. So, I can't wait any longer, Dirk. I can't wait till Tuesday doing a live stream, so we're doing it now. <laughs> but I appreciate you sending mail in. Dirk has sent in a lot of older packs, and we have eaten gum from the 70s multiple times. And I'm still, still standing. Bill Joel reference. But let's see what we have from Dirk Remington. Hilarious guy. He's got a channel too. You check him out. Let's see what Dirk sent us. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Or... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Dirk, I just got a glimpse of that. This looks absolutely epic. Holy crap. The Dennis Cook calendar. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> and we have... We have multiples. We have two Dennis Cook 2021 calendars. Oh man, it's on like glossy cardstock. Whoa, is that epic. The irony of that just showed that in the baseball card vending machine. That is so cool. Dirk, thank you so much, man. I cannot wait to uh, advertise this and somebody will probably get sent one of these beauties at some point. 2021 has never looked so good now. I'll look forward to it now having that in the background. We have some other stuff too. Possibly some deteriorating and moldy gum. Actually, not possibly. Definitely. I see an old wax pack there. I think the oldest one he sent so far is probably like, what was it, 78, I think? Something around uh, on that nature. So we're trying to break the record here. See if we can eat gum older than 78. And 
I'm kind of worried to see what this is and what year it's from. Charlie's Angels, 1977. All right, I'm up for the challenge. We are going to eat this gum on a live stream this Tuesday, as long as it doesn't have black mold all through it. But that is pretty sick, though. We have moved up one year. We have a box number three. I guess I kind of went out of order. My bad. Wasn't paying attention to those numbers, but I guess that was supposed to be the first thing. This was supposed to be the second. Oh, well, this is number three. Dirk Remington. Thank you again. I cannot get over this, Dennis Cook. <laughs> 2021 calendar. This is so sick. The final piece here in Dirk's mystery package. Whatever could it be? And we got some wrapping paper with jolly old Saint Nick right there. That fecal matter? <laughs> that looks like a big turd or something. I don't know if that's supposed to be legit or not. And what do we have here? Oh man! Authentic on open, 1935, Big Three Gum. Oh, man. Uh, Global Authority VGEX4. Holy crap. Gum from 1935. <laughs> well, that far outdoes anything else that he has ever sent me. Oh, man. We may have to try a piece of 1935 here at some point. Let's... We'll work our way back slowly. We'll do 77 on Tuesday, and then <laughs> maybe at some point we will crack this open and we'll get a glimpse and a taste of 1935. That is crazy. I have no idea where you even found that at. That is absolutely insane. It is still um, somewhat uh, together there. Very, very interesting. I cannot wait to maybe someday taste that. What an epic package. Glorious stuff in there. Dirk, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Check out Dirk Remington's YouTube channel. I'm going to link him down below. Go give him a sub. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Drop me a line down below and let me know what your favorite thing was that you saw tonight. Hopefully, I will see you all back on Tuesday. For Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And we are heading back to 2003 with a Series 1 box of Upper Deck. Have a great night, everybody.